Okay, <laughs> another box video, box opening video. Um, I know you might be wondering what is going on here, but uh, I only have one smart doll body now, boy body. Um, I sold most of my boys off last year, um, but I still have uh, various boy heads. So um, this Coco boy here, I named him Rune previously, and he's going to be our model today. Um, <laughs> I don't know that I want to keep his name Rune. Um, I think maybe I gave him a different name at one point, but I don't remember what it is. So, anyway, he's here. Coco body, or Coco boy head on a cinnamon boy body. But the box thing that I am opening, fragile, it's not fragile, is from Volt. They just recently had a web store restock, and um, a lot of it was from, I want to say it was like the New Year's stuff that they had released. So anyway, I purchased the Fluffy Dragon suit, it says suit, and Fluffy Dragon gloves and slipper set. Slipper set. Um, it's basically a Kigurumi. I really did want to get it at the beginning of the year, New Year to celebrate um, the Chinese New Year of the Dragon, but... I missed out. They had it for a while in the mini Dolphy Dream size. Um, and I knew that I would like it or prefer it in the one third size. So when they announced the restock, I went to go see what they were restocking and I saw this in there. So I decided to go ahead and purchase it. Um, Okay, so here's the hands and feet, which pretty much look the same. <laughs> I suppose it depends on how they go in. So it looks like these might be the feet with the holes at the top, and then there must the hands must have it at the base. And then here's the outfit. I'm going to try to do this pretty quickly because my kiddo should be getting off the bus at any moment. All right, so that's interesting. The suit itself. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. It's like a stuffed animal. It's without the head. <laughs> um, it looks like it opens at the front. Um, there is like a stretchy opening for the feet and then for the wrists as well. And then it has a big, huge tail coming off the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and unsnap this. It's a snap closure. And we'll try to get this on to Mr. Rune here. The great thing about Kigurumis is that they cover the entire body, right? So even though <laughs> Rune has a cinnamon body at the moment, you'll never know because he's going to change into a dragon. All right, let me make sure I put his arms in the correct slots. And I'll tell you why I chose to sell all of my smart doll boys. For one, they just didn't get as much attention as my girls. Um, so I felt a little bit bad about that. Even though I had I had one I had one in Coco and one in blue, which was really hard to let go of, but I did. And uh, cinnamon and milk. I decided to keep the cinnamon one because I did have two cinnamon boy heads. Um, anyway, so the, I was just not playing with them as much. And plus, um, for anybody who is out there who doesn't have an older or just current, uh, or Gen 2, I should say, smart doll boy, the arms are constantly falling off. It's, it's I mean, not constant, but it's a frustrating uh, issue because they're really so cute, but the, the way the vinyl is constructed for the chest, it just makes it hard to keep the arms on. All right, so there's the hood part of this Kigurumi. <laughs> you can't even see his head. <laughs> Alright, 
Let me just tie it around. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. I almost want to, like, I guess I could tuck the, the ribbon into the bodysuit part. That was so funny. But you couldn't even see his head. And I want to make a bow, but I don't because I want it to be manly. <laughs> so I'm just going to tie it in a double knot and hopefully that won't be really difficult to get out later. So I'm not really sure what their reasoning was for um, not sewing the hood onto the Kigurumi. I suppose, you know, it could be any number of reasons, but like, I don't like it. I wish they would have just sewed it on so that it would be one whole thing. Now look, see, you can still see his cinnamon chest. Let's see if I can pull this up a little bit. The little whiskers are cute. They're just kind of like a firm felt so that they stick up like that. I'm not sure Rune is loving this look for him. And I wanted to try to find him a green wig. <laughs> this hood is ridiculous. It's way too big. Um, but I couldn't, I couldn't find my short green wig. So, oh well, he has an orange wig. Maybe that's the fire coming out of the dragon's mouth, right? <laughs> All right, so here are the mittens and the, um, feet. The feet have some tissue stuck in them, like a foot. And just slip that on. Luckily, I don't think dragon's feet have rights and left, so it really doesn't matter. And pop this one out too. So I think at this point I probably have four or five Kigurumi things. They're all really cute. This, uh, the gloves also have tissue in them. I'm halfway tempted to just leave it in to make them stay more fluffy, but let's see how it looks without it. So here I am putting it on his hand. Oh, you know what? There might be... Oh, that's interesting. There's like a little bead here. What's that for? I don't understand. Oh, it's a bead. It's <laughs> okay. There's a little bead and loop closure to open the hand, the glove up to get it up over the hand. I was gonna say I thought for a second that it was like a snap closure or something, or like a snap to connect the to the bodysuit. It is really hard to reclose that. It's on. There it is. Hi. <laughs> it's really hard to reclose that. So it's like loose. It's almost better to just not even try to open it because it's hard because the fur gets in the way. I mean, it's stretchy opening. So I feel like why bother with um, taking that off? because it's kind of hard to get up over the thumb, that's why. But there, I did it. All right. <laughs> you can't even see him. All right, big long tail. Basically, you know what Kigurumas do? They turn um, dolls into stuffed animals. Rawr. Okay. I didn't realize that it was like, I mean I knew that the hands and feet were separate because I ordered them separate. You don't even have to purchase them. You could just get the dragon outfit without the hands and paws, but why wouldn't you want the hands and paws? They're so cute. Um, hands and paws. Hands and feet, paws and claws, <laughs> I don't know. Here he is in all of his dragony. Lori, I don't know. I I feel like they would have been smarter to connect the hood. Um, I wonder if I can possibly like 
get some snaps or something to at least snap it on and off um, to have it stay connected. Because I really don't even like the the tie at the neck, like that ribbon. That's silly. I'm going to see if I can get somebody to sew some snaps and snow, snap this hood on so that it stays on. And I don't know. These little things are cute, but floppy. If I hook it around the antler, it stays, I guess. The hood is ginormous, though. It's like you have to really carefully pose it. But then you can't really see the dragon face. I don't know. It's cute. Um, but it is. it could probably also be worn for um, like the uncle size doll, like the 70 centimeter. Because the smart dolls are at like about 62 or 65 or something like that. Um, but it's very cute. And now I can have my Coco Boy out and about. And you would never know that he's not a full Coco Boy, right? Clever. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.